Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast. In today's video, I am going to show you the different methods to create a shared folder in Windows Server 2019. Sharing folders makes them accessible to your network users. And by sharing folders, user can access the data which is stored on server from their client computer which is part of your accredited domain based on the permission which is assigned to your shared folders. So in the first method, we are going to use a SAR Manager console to create a new shared folder. For that, you need to open your SAR Manager and on your SAR Manager, on left hand side, you will find File and Storage Services. You need to click on that and then after you will see Shares. So you need to click on Shares as well. Here you can see a list of shared folders currently exist on your server. As you can see, we have a total two shared folders currently on our server, which is NetLogon and Syswall, and it is created automatically when you promote your server as a domain controller. To create a new shared folder, we need to click on Tasks. Here we have options for new share, so select it. On this console, as you can see, we need to select a profile for this share. Here we have a total five shared profile and the by default selected profile will be SMB share quick, which is suitable for general file sharing. For example, if you have a FSRM installed on your server, that time you can use SMB share advanced or SMB share applications. Uh, if you have NFS installed on your server, that time you can use NFS share quick and NFS advanced. For this demonstration, I'm going to select SMB share quick. Let's click on next. Here we need to select our server and uh, in the previous video we have added our member server to this server manager console as well. And that's why that server is also listed here. Uh, we want to create a shared folder on our domain controller and that's why I'm going to select ws2k19-dc01. If you want to share your entire volume, that time you can select select by volume and select the drive which you want to share. But we want to share a folder and that's why we need to select type a custom path then click on browse and on a domain controller I have only one drive and which is my C drive so let's select and uh, to create a new folder oh, we need to click on new folder here I'm going to give name HR data okay let's select the folder so our local path will be C colon slash HR data select the folder and click on next now, what will be the name of the shared folder? As you can see, HR data is selected by default. You just need to take care of one thing that don't leave space in between the name in a shared folder and that we don't have. If you want to add description about the shared folder, you can. This is the local path to that shared folder and this is the remote path to access that shared folder. Let's click on next. Here we have options for enable access based enumeration, which I want to enable. Enabling access based enumeration means preventing users from seeing files and folders they do not have permission to access. To see that, at least you need read or equivalent permission. Then allow catching of share is also selected. That means offline users can access the content of this share folder as well. I'm going to click on next. And here we have uh, options to customize the permission. As you can see, by default share permission will be everyone full control. So we need to set up NTFS permission as well. So I'm going to click on customize permissions to change the permission. And the first thing which I'm going to do is disabling inheritance. Let's click on it. Select convert inherited permissions into explicit permission on this object. And now I want to remove both users entry. Okay, so now we have a system, administrators and created order. We want to create the share folder for our HR department. Uh, let me open uh, active directory users and computers. Okay, let's click on HROU. Here we have HR user 1, 2 and 3 
and all those three users are member of Azure users. So we are going to use the security group to assign permission on that share folder. Let's minimize it. Minimize this console as well. Okay, so let's click on add. Click on select a principal. Uh, you can select user group or built-in security group as well. I'm going to use Azure users. Let's click on check name and fine. Let's click on okay. Now here we have a type of permission. So we want to allow on this folder, subfolders and files. Uh, we want to click on show advanced permissions because we want to give them a permission to create a file and folder as well. And uh, this permission will be applicable for this folder only. Fine. Let's click on OK. So now they are able to create files and folders uh, under this folder. And once they create any file or folder, they will become creator owner and creator owner have full control on subfolders and file. Fine. Let's click on apply. Click on OK. And click on next. This is the over information. Uh, whatever things we have selected that will be visible to us here. Let's click on create to create a share folder. Done. The share was successfully created. Let's click on close to close this console. Let's go back to our saw manager console. And here we go. Here we have a Azure data. If you want to modify any settings related to the share folder, you can. For that, you need to select the folder, right click on it and go for the properties. Let's click on permissions. And here uh, from this console, you can manage your permission. Other settings will be available to you on this console as well. Let's click on OK. We want to also confirm that user can see the share folder and user must have permission to create a folder under this share folder. So let's go back to our client computer. On this computer, I'm going to log in as a HR user one. And let's access the share folder. For that, I'm going to use UNC path ws 2 k 19 dc one Here we have Azure Data Folder. Let's open it. That means user have at least read permission as user can access that folder. Let me create a new folder here. And done. This folder is created by Azure User 1. And if user can rename that folder, that means user has a permission to delete that folder as well. Let's see the permission of this folder. Click on security. And here, as you can see, Azure User 1 is listed there. Let's click on advance. And if you see the permission about Azure User 1, you can see Azure User 1 is owner of this folder and uh, that user has a full control on this folder as well. Fine, so our uh, permission is properly assigned to this share folder as well as the folder uh, which is created under the main root share folder. Fine, uh, this is the first method. Uh, in the second method, that is the older one, we can use File Explorer. And by using File Explorer, we can create a share folder as well. So let's open C drive. Uh, let me create one more folder. Let's give name public folder. So that folder must be accessible by all users. Uh, let's select the folder, right click on it and go for the properties. Here we have a sharing tab. So let's click on it. Uh, we are not going for this share. We are going for advanced sharing. Let's click on it. Select share this folder and this will be the name of our folder. Let's click on permission. So if you want to assign any kind of permission, you can assign it from here. We're going with the everyone read permission. So general permission will be everyone full control. And then you have to specify the NTFS permission to control the permission of that share folder. Fine, let's click on OK, apply OK and close only. So we have at a sharing level, we have a read only permission. Let's check on a client computer. Sorry, let's click on OK. And here we have a public folder as well. Let's open it and let's try to create a new folder. 
As you can see, we don't have permission because at the sharing level, we have given the permission to read only. Even if user has a uh, full control at NTFS level, still user is not able to create folder under this shared folder. Fine, uh, let's cancel it and let's close it. Let's go back to our domain controller. Uh, we can also use uh, computer management console to create shared folder as well. Okay, and here you need to right click and select new share. Click on next. Browse the location. Let's expand C drive. Let's make a new folder. Shared one will be the name. Let's click on OK. Next. And uh, here we have a certain settings about offline file as well that we are not going to change. Let's click on next. And here we have a permission to customize it. So the similar console is there. You can change the sharing permission and NTFS permission from here. We're going with the default one. Let's click on finish. Let's go back to our client computer and let's see whether that folder is there or not. And here we go. We have a shared one. We can also use a command net share to create a shared folder, but that we are not going to use because in that command to assign a permission is very complicated one. So these are the way by using these methods, you can create a shared folder on your Windows Server 2019 computer. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.